Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kimmerman from Kimmerman Gunplus Studio and today I have here one of the protagonist uh, mobile suit from the ancient Gundam series, the mobile suit Gundam from uh, 1979. But uh, to be honest, this kit is uh, rare to find and uh, if you ever find uh, the original Bandai of this kit, it will cost you around 5,000 pesos here in the Philippines or up because most sellers from uh, the Shopee app, they sell it at an over overpriced uh, status. So I, as much as possible, I don't like to buy overpriced kits and uh, uh, at the same time, this kit to be honest, I don't like this kit, but just to the fact that I want to complete the Operation Meteor by that anime series, I finally decided to buy the Chinese brand, <laughs> or what I call the Chinese fake kits or the bootleg. So this is none other than <laughs> the Gun Tank. Yes. You can see in the box, it says only VN001, but this is the gun tank from that uh, uh, anime, that uh, mobile suit Gundam anime. So the box of this kit is, you know, if you, you're buying bootlegs like the Daban, mostly Daban, they label their kits with the code number only but i don't know what kind of company is this because i know the band has this gray um, box art that they put the code number but this one i think this is not from the band so i'll just say that this is a chinese fake kits anyway let's build this contact from that anime series Mobile suit gun. All hail China. The box art here is boring. You can see only a brown box here. At first glance, you will notice or you will think that this is just an ordinary box with a VN001 on the front. You will think that this is just a parts for your computer or a shoe box something like that but if you open the box you can see it's a model kit so even the instruction manual is <laughs> it says VN001 and uh, what amazed me is they photocopy the manual of the original kit of this you can see the parts the parts uh, list here i tried searching the original uh, manual for the bandai gun tank and i noticed that they really uh, hacked that uh, file and they just print out for themselves this chinese company anyway I'm not a fan of Chinese company because uh, they're fake. I don't like buying fake kits, to be honest. But uh, don't get me wrong, for those uh, builders or collectors that collect uh, Chinese brands, it's your choice. But for me, I don't like buying Chinese counterfeits because uh, I don't like the quality, to be honest. But I just want to give it a try because... I want to complete the Operation Meteor. Anyway, uh, we are looking at a copy of uh, the Bandai, the Bandai original manual. But I just noticed that it's good. I know this is good. I hope so. <laughs> I hope that this will not be a hand grenade. Anyway. Let's check the packs here. We have here mostly gray for the inner frame of the kit. So these are mostly gray, gray, gray. 
Yep. So these are for the armors, the uh, tracks, the armor pieces. Yep, these are for the armor pieces. We have here also red colored uh, parts here. But mostly these are gray. And there's this uh, detached piece here. I don't know. Uh, this is for that part. We have here uh, the tracks, plastic tracks here. And what I'm amazed about this kit is it does have the rubber track, the easy application. You don't need to detach all these uh, individual uh, or the separated uh, tracks here. If you are lazy to do so, you have this uh, option to attach these rubber tracks, which impressed me. And you have this. Uh, metal barrels for the kit so if you don't like the plastic barrel you can stick to the metal barrels very nice very nice that's a good uh, bonus here so we have here the cannon pieces yep if you want the uh, plastic you can uh, attach and uh, display if you want but uh, if you don't like plastic and stick to the metal, you can uh, replace it with the metal one. So you have here uh, dark blue parts here, white parts, and uh, polycaps. I think this is polycaps. I know, it's a hard plastic. We have here clear pieces for the canopy and uh, for the core fighter. And we have yellow parts here for uh, armor pieces we also have here decals dry transfer decals for the kit and yep it's very nice very nice for a Chinese uh, counterfeit but I hope it's not a hand grenade but if it is I'll just stick to my uh, uh, modification uh, Techniques. Good thing is I don't need to force myself to rip the plastics or use my scissors to rip the plastic because the plastic here has this tape. There are tapes here, and you can easily open that uh, thing and uh, get the parts. I'm very happy with this uh, wrapping, this kind of plastic because uh, it has a seal and I can use this to keep some extra parts from my other kits because I'm using a uh, ziplock but now I can uh, preserve this plastic because I like this seal I can put the extra pieces from my other kits and uh, to save the world from plastic pollution so I will keep this to store my plastic extra plastic uh, parts from the other kits and it will have a nice container for that kit let's save the world from pollution plastic pollution as always we'll do the runner review for this kit before we build it so we have here gray runners here for the runner I. So these are ABS plastic. So another I runner. So we have two sets of I runner. We have uh, runner K here. And another runner K. So we have two sets of runner K. We have here runner H. So these are ABS plastic. And another runner H. So we have two sets of runner H. We have two sets of I, K, and uh, H runner. We have here runner F for the gray pieces. And we have here runner G for uh, inner frame parts. And it's this. 
connector. There's this uh, detached piece already due to uh, delivery method. So we have here the blue one, dark blue uh, chunky pieces for uh, runner D. So this is runner D. We have red uh, frames here for the runner A1. We have uh, runner AB, uh, A3 for uh, white runners. We have a uh, gray runner here, A4. We have uh, two small uh, dark blue runners for runner E. So we have two sets of runner E. We have clear runners here for A2. These are for the canopy. We have uh, light blue or what do you call this? Uh, greenish blue runner for runner B. We have cannon parts, runner J or the gray runners. And we have yellow runners here for runner C and uh, runner C1 for the Ah, these are pilot figures. These are pilot... Uh, ah, these are uh, the characters. These are people. Small uh, pilot figures. And another pilot figure here. So, we have uh, so much people here. <laughs> little peep, Little persons. <laughs> and we have here... The tracks for Runner L. So we have three sets of uh, Runner L here for the tracks. But if you are lazy to detach and connect these small tracks here, you can use the rubber one. So we have two sets of rubber tracks here. Yes, and it's very nice if you're lazy to detach this one by one. You have this uh, rubber uh, bonus. And we have here the metal parts, metal pieces for the barrels. Okay, let's build this kit and complete the Operation Meteor from that anime series, Mobile Suit Gundam. Until then, see you next time. Skimmerman from Skimmerman Gunpla Studio saying goodbye, God bless, and take care.